Hey guys, JC here with a new DayZ mod video. Uh, patch 1.7.7 was released yesterday and there's a bunch of new content and new stuff for us to examine. This is the most relevant. Uh, first, there's a new starting gear. You get a bandage and a road flare and random between a bandage and a painkiller. Server date has been locked to give full moon nights always, which should improve uh, nighttime gameplay. And sets heating through walls and buildings should now be fixed. It's about time if you ask me. We'll see if that's uh, real. Uh, there's also a new infected survivor camp. I haven't seen any, any of that or been able to find a picture. Uh, as soon as I encounter one, I'll put a video. There's also the wild spawning of sets, uh, you know, in the middle of nowhere. I encounter a few in this run. And there are also six new viral sets, like the one on the video right now. And they are harder to kill, they do more damage, and they have a higher chance of causing infection. And, as you are about to see in this video, sets can now tackle players to the ground when attacked. I'm going to tease this zombie, and he's going to hit me. And look at that, he tackled me. Now I get up and I continue running. Also, uh, blood bags will no longer transfer uh, 12,000 blood instantly. Uh, the medic has to stay close to the player and it will transfer 1,000 blood per second. So if the medic moves away, the transfer stops. Also, on the same note, all food types now have a diminishing effect. So the more you try and eat at once, the less blood you will get in return. So you need to pace your eating. There's um, a new crash site model as well, uh, an MI-8. is that big helicopter you've seen in some of my videos. Uh, they added new loot and food uh, for the church. Uh, new food and drink items. Uh, which are only found in supermarkets and uh, they added a model for a drop map and watch which we have in other uh, variations of the mod uh, for a while now there are a couple of new weapons like the Makarov SD and the RPK-74 which is only found in the MI-8 uh, heli crash site uh, we have as well a new fuel can 5 liter fuel can which uses one inventory slot very convenient and also vehicles and tents now report the free gear slots uh, which will help you manage uh, your inventory better um, about the, the things that have been fixed there are a lot of them but um, the most important are that uh, loot spawns have now been fully resolved and uh, the loot cleanup has been fully resolved as well so you get a uh, loot spawning in buildings um, every 15 minutes and all loot piles will be cleaned every 60 minutes when there are no players within 250 meters of the loot spawn uh, there are also a couple of fixes for a lot of duping and wall hacks and uh, finally some updates uh, for instance, all loot tables have been uh, updated and rebalanced. Uh, the damage in the Makarov and M1911 pistol has been updated. And there are more lootable buildings like the Iron Barn, the Car Rex and several non-enterable buildings. Finally, we have now three chopper crash sites spawn on server restart, plus two or three infected camps. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, I still don't know exactly how an infected camp looks like. Uh, also, sickness, you know, when you are infected, now can cause death. death. Uh, it previously stopped, I, I believe it was at uh, 3000 blood, but now it can cause death. And in sad news for a lot of players, the M107 and AS50 are gone from all loot tables and the damage from their bullets has been removed. 
so they do zero damage even if they spawn. So sorry guys, no more high power sniper rifles, at least for now. Um, okay, those are some of the most uh, relevant things in, in the update. I will post the link in the description so you can uh, read the full changelog. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's it for now. See you next time. Destruction and creation are the same thing after all.